The moment has finally arrived. The cook stove is in, woohoo! We are so excited to finally have the cook stove up and running. Um, so I was not able to film our first meal that we made with it. It was Friday night, we got done with the um, heating up the cook stove and cooling it down and all that stuff. Friday, it was late Friday evening and we honor Sabbath so there was no cooking for us, uh, no cooking videos on Saturday. Um, so today is Sunday and our weather has actually warmed up significantly so I wasn't able to start the cook stove until about 15-20 minutes ago and it's 5 o'clock already. So dinner time it is, our video is going to be a hair late and I'm so sorry but this is worth the anticipation I think because everybody was pretty excited about the cook stove and we're finally up and running. So I'm getting the stove heated up now and I'm going to preheat my oven in just a few minutes but until then we're going to start making the dough for the dinner rolls. So I know it seems kind of silly for me to be making bread in a KitchenAid uh, but if I'm going to make bread for my family I have to be able to remove a step. Um, so putting all the ingredients and having the KitchenAid need it for me is huge for me because that is at least 10 to 15 minutes that I just don't have time to sit and make uh, several loaves of bread like that a day. So I accidentally heated up my milk and butter a little bit too much so I'm going to pour it into my bowl and let it kind of cool down. Um, I forgot <laughs> that that cook stove just heats everything up so fast that I really have to be paying attention. So it's a little warm, but my bowl is nice and cold. Well, at least it was. Now it's nice and hot. So as it is right now, it's too hot to put my yeast in. My yeast will die. Um, you can see the steam coming off. So I am just trying to cool my uh, milk and water and butter mixture by um, turning on my KitchenAid and seeing if that helps at all. I did not kill my yeast. I can see that it is starting to bubble up. It is officially activated. I'm gonna let it froth up some more and then I'm gonna add flour. Okay, my bread has most definitely doubled in size, so I am going to roll out my rolls and put them in my pan. Okay, all of my rolls are in my pan, and no, they are not perfect. That is called rustic cooking right there. <laughs> and I don't have like a way to weigh them out. I need to weigh them. Um, so I just reform them, and I'm going to put them on my warming rack to poop up the rest of the way while my oven is finishing preheating. And then I'm gonna bake them while I'm finishing off dinner. Okay, got a flashlight. Our lighting is terrible over here. We have no light above the cook stove, so. I'm having to use the kitchen light, but look at how gorgeous those plump up, and I'm gonna throw them in the oven now. Actually, I'm gonna brush them with some butter, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. Okay, they are done. I probably could have flopped them around and cooked them a little bit longer so they were all this color, but they look delicious, and they smell even better. Here is dinner. We have a freshly baked roll in my beautifully seasoned cast iron pan. And then we, I just sauteed up some cabbage, some cube steak, and some cilantro and carrots in some sesame oil and some coconut aminos, and it is delicious. All on the cook stove, and dinner is served. And that is it for this video. If you guys want to be, if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we will catch you guys in our next one. Blessings and happy homesteading. Bye.